everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Eclectic Niche. So today I'm going to be showing you how to cook pizza using a frying pan. But this time around, in comparison to the last video which I did, we're going to be using two-in-one parchment and foil. So it's half paper and half foil. The reason why we're going to be using this today is because we want to save ourselves from the hassle of having to get the pizza out without having to scratch the frying pan. So we're going to be doing this and I'm going to be doing this for the first time. So stay tuned and keep watching. So we're going to crack on straight away. So what we'll be needing to make the pizza would be two cups of flour, okay, one cup of um, water, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of yeast. Then uh, we'll be using mozzarella as the cheese topping. Then we'll be adding in um, bell peppers, red, yellow, and green, tomatoes, king prawns, cherry tomatoes, and some leftover chicken from yesterday. So like I said earlier on, uh, we are not going to be adding the um, butter into the pan directly. So we're going to be using a two-in-one parchment paper, like I said earlier on. And this is to prevent marking your frying pan so we'll also be adding some barbecue sauce as part of the toppings first things first we're going to be cutting out some parchment paper so what i'll recommend is to layer it on top of the frying pan then just cut out what you need So once you've cut it out, we're going to be placing the foil bit on the pan and the paper bit will be on top. So this paper is actually non-stick. So we're going to press it down, okay, and make sure it fits in the pan properly so that when we add in the mixture, it doesn't spill over. Okay, right. So that's done. So onto the mixture, we're going to be adding in one cup of water first. One teaspoon of yeast. We're going to add that first so that it gets activated in the water. We leave it in there for probably about two minutes. So we're going to be adding in one tablespoon of olive oil. In two cups of flour. I know I said one cup of water, so we are going to add in one and a half cups of water. One and a half cups is what we actually need for this butter to mix properly. So you just mix, 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 mix properly until it turns out to be, you know, very smooth. So it's properly mixed now, as you can see. So we're going to pour out the mixture into the frying pan. So next, we're going to add in some barbecue sauce. So we're just going to gently evenly spread out the barbecue sauce. We're going to add in a handful of um, mozzarella cheese. Next, so we're going to add in shrimps. Then we add in the leftover chicken. Then we add in peppers, switch and add in tomatoes so that we have a healthy um, okay. Then we add back in the peppers again.
I'm going to pop this on the cooker and I'm going to cover it for 10 minutes. So I'm going to switch on the cooker and I'm going to leave the heat at medium. So just medium heat is fine and cover the pot, the, the pan, the frying pan. Then I'm going to place a cloth to prevent steam from letting itself out. Okay, and that is going to sit there for about 10 minutes. So it's 10 minutes already, so we're going to take off the kitchen towel so that the steam can, can let off. And we'll leave it for an extra 5 minutes. So it's 5 minutes already and I'm going to switch off the cooker. And I'm going to leave it to rest for about 5 minutes before adding in uh, some spinach. So because I want the pizza to have a crusty kind of finish, I'm going to be popping it in the oven for about say five minutes at um, full blast so I'm going to be transferring the pizza from the pan onto the um, pizza pan Come on. so as you can see it's just as you can see it was very easy to um, transfer it to the pan so I'm just going to pop that in the oven for, uh, for about five minutes five minutes should be fine so because the pizza is already cooked I'm just going to pop it onto grill and I'm going to high heat and uh, reduce the time to five minutes yeah five should be fine Let's start. as you can see it's done now and it's giving it that beautiful brown crust at the top which I love you don't have to do this you can just use the pan but you know I always like that brown uh, glaze on my pizza so the pizza is ready I'm just going to pop in uh, some spinach and I'm also going to pop in some cherry tomatoes so yes it's ready looks very appetizing and very inviting so I'm going to show you um, how easy it is to take out the pizza from the parchment paper so you take it out like so just very very gently you don't uh, struggle with it As you can see it lifts off very 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 easily Just take it off gently, no rush. <laughs> oh, it's quite hot. And you take out the other bit as well. So you can see it lifts off from the parchment paper really really quickly so voila doesn't that look delicious so guys that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel share the video um, a lot of people you know do not know how to make pizza they rather buy from the shops and I've just shown you how quick and easy this can be done and you can just um, make it yourself It's quick and easy you don't have to need any dough you just use a pan you don't even have to um, grill it in the bake it in the oven i just did it because i wanted it to have like a brown uh, look okay so this looks really really delicious i'm going to cut this pizza up now and i'm going to have a taste so here we go i'm going to cut it up now looks i need a pizza cutter i'll get that in the coming weeks
ainsi. I don't know if you can see the insides of the dough. Looks quite thick and um, lovely. Right? Wow. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> 